Good day. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to find the value of x in this equation. Let's start by rewriting the above. So we have x to the power of x to the power of 6. And just to be clear, this does not mean x to the power of x all raised to the power of 6. It means x to the power of x to the 6. And on the right hand side we have 144, so let's rewrite this as 12 squared. And now, just to make things interesting, I'm going to raise this to the power of 6 and this to the power of 6. So again for clarity we'll add some brackets in here. Now this rule here tells us that if we've got a number raised to a power, and that's all raised to another power, we can swap the powers around. So if we do that, we get x to the power of 6, all to the power of x to the 6, and that equals, and I'm going to use this rule again, but this time I'm going to multiply the powers together. So we get 12 to the power of 2 multiplied by 6. This gives us x to the power of 6 raised to the x to the 6. And just for clarity, I'm going to put another pair of brackets around this x to the 6. And this equals 12 to the power of 12. This gives us a term raised to the same term on the left and a term raised to the same term on the right. And that means that x to the power of 6 must equal 12. Therefore x must equal 12 to the power of 1 sixth or the sixth root of 12. And that's it. Raising both sides to the power of 6 initially looked odd, but it was actually the key to solving this problem. Hope you found that interesting. Why not check out one of my other videos or push the big pi squared button and see what happens. See you tomorrow.